Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how it is possible to read data from the SQL database using Excel custom function but in more advanced way than you saw in the my previous videos. So as usually in the beginning I will show you the final result and then I will show you step by step how to do it. So let's assume that you have a table 2 in the SQL with uh, some kind of the sales statistic like you see below and uh, for example every month or every week you wanted to have uh, data in Excel report which should be updated automatically every time like here we have a month with a green cell where we can enter the month value let's say 7 and then below we have a table with the product name or the count total quantity and total price Products in this table you can change manually because here is a drop down list where you can choose any product which you want. Yeah, let's uh, change uh, the products and we see the results here over here. Uh, if we wanted to update the results uh, in the next month, we just simply change the months over here and we get uh, new figures. And now I will explain you how it's possible to make this technical miracle. First of all, we need to create a table with values in SQL database. Then we can check the data exists in the table. And then we need to look on the Excel and to figure out what kind of values we need to calculate in the database. In our example it is order count, total quantity and price. That's why we need to create a similar query and in order to have it by products I will use grouping by product name. And here you can see that I did some calculations in order to get those KPIs which we wanted to have in the Excel. In addition, we need to create condition for months and product name because we wanted to enter these things from the Excel. Months we wanted to enter over here and product names we wanted to enter here. In, the, in, the, in this column. Then when our SQL query is ready, we need to put everything in one line for convenience because uh, it will, would be much more convenient to copy it uh, to the procedure, visual basic procedure, than to copy it in many rows. So that's why we make one long string. Then we come back to the Excel and in Excel we open developer tab and visual basic. In the visual basic you need to create a module and copy here visual basic function. You will be able to find this function script in the video description. For those who are not familiar with the Visual Basic, I will explain the main elements of this script. First of all, it is connection string over here, where you need to specify address to your SQL server, to specify the database name, username and password for the user which has access to the database. Next, we need to define the query which will read the data from our database. In order to show you how to adjust this query, I will remove the current one and switch back to the SQL where we created one line query. Here, first of all, we need to remove the product name because we will not need it in the result. And we need to add top one. We need it just for security reasons that our query will return no more than one line. We check that it works over here. Yeah, great. We see the result. Three columns, exactly the same what we need in the Excel. 
then we copy the script and go to the Visual Basic. In Visual Basic, we copy this script. And what is that? Probably you pay attention that in the function definition, we get two incoming parameters or two incoming variables or arguments. It is months and product names. It is a arguments which Excel will send to the Visual Basic. And we need to use that uh, parameters in our SQL query. We copy the months and go to the uh, SQL query and replace 9, which we had, by the months. Yeah, by the incoming parameters. And the same we do with the product name, that we are looking for the place where we define the product name in the query, remove that, put the double quotes, pluses, and place the argument or parameter which define the product name. So, done. Then, the query is ready and uh, what we see next is that here in this place we copy result of the query to array result array and uh, here we check that uh, our query return any value yes we just compare that uh, uh, error result is not empty and in case if it's empty it's replaced by zero we just need it in case if uh, our excel requests uh, some products and months which doesn't have any transactions and uh, finally we assign to the function result array great now we need to switch back to the Excel, but before switching back, we shouldn't forget that Visual Basic should have a reference to the uh, Microsoft Active X elements. Yeah, we are scrolling down here and click it Microsoft Active X data objects library. Great, done. Then we can go back to the Excel, and in the Excel, we need to make a formulas we select three cell for one row and go to the functions in the functions we need to choose user defined functions and we will see the function name which we just created in the visual basic db request get product data okay then months in order to specify the months we need to choose the cell where we supposed to enter it. Uh, since uh, the cell will be the constant, we need to press F4 in order to make it constant. Great. And then we need to specify the product names. Product name we are specify at the first column of the row over here. Great. And that's it. But as you can see, we get the value only in the first column because we forgot to press magic combination in order to get this function for whole set of cells. In order to do it, we go to the formula over here and press simultaneously shift control enter. And then, as you see, we get the results for all three cells. And then simply copy paste these cells, these formulas to another rows. And what we get? As you see, we get a different da data. And uh, if we change the product, the data are changing. It means that everything are reading from the database. And if we change the month, all data totally was changed. Great. And now let's just compare that we have a correct result. Let's uh, take a look uh, what is 
in database in uh, July month 7 for the table 40 60 we go to the SQL copy the product name and change the month execute the query great 16 27 and 50 absolutely the same as we get now you can see that in the result we got a dynamic report in the excel which read the data online from the database i hope it can be used in many business areas uh, in order to improve your reporting i hope this video was useful for you all the scripts you will find in the video descriptions take care bye bye